Hi, and welcome to Integrity Cells and Services. This afternoon, Dave and I are going to do a nice video for you of our 2001 Freightliner SL80 single action day cab. He's going to fire it up. We're going to get you a nice view under the hood, let you check out the engine and the engine compartment. We're going to check out the blow-by and the whole shoot match for you. And we're also going to do a nice video for you on our 2011 Integrity Manufactured single hop mod brain trip. Look at the very nice clean oil on the dipstick. Take a look at the fact there's absolutely no blow by. Very, very clean. With that, Dave's going to get the hood down for us. I want to have him actually move the truck forward and backward a little bit so you can see how nice and slow it is in the video. Let me go ahead and pop the hood down for him just one second here. Okay, now he's going to do a demonstration for you. I'll let you see that we have a Slow, low gear farm truck here. Now there's first gear at an idle, and boy, she just barely creeps. Now he's going to do the same thing for you in reverse. And as you can see, it is a very nice slow first in reverse. It's what we need around the farm. Take a look how slow she's moving. Okay, with that, Dave's going to get back out of the truck, and he's going to go ahead and uh, flip the hood up, and I'm going to get you a very nice overview of the truck under the hood around the engine compartment. Let's come right on up here to the driver's side. Very nice, clean, shiny wheels. Very nice, deep steer tire tread. Very thick brake pads. Look how clean she is under around the oil pan, the frame area, the evidence of our new filter all the way around it. She's seen a fresh service filter and the whole shooting match, folks. I'm telling you, here is a nice package sitting right here, ready for you to own today and haul your grain tomorrow. So let's go ahead and come on around and get you a shot on the passenger side and we'll repeat the procedure. You can see it's identical tire tread. Everything is the same on both sides. You can see we have the new brake pads all the way around. Take a look again. Very nice clean oil pan, clean undercarriage. Very, very nice. Take a look around the exhaust manifolds along the head gasket. There is absolutely no sign of any oil dripping anywhere in this on the side of the engine or on the snow on the ground. Take a look around the turbo. Very, very nice and clean. With that, Dave's going to pop the hood down, and I'm going to continue down the side of the truck, and we'll talk about the truck as we move along. You can see here with the sun shining on it, there's absolutely no damage around the hood area, cab area, glass is all very nice, very nice clean steel fuel tanks. Take a look at the nice exhaust system. No rust on it. Everything is very nice, and we do have a nice upright system, so you don't have to worry about catching your field on fire. Very clean back of the cab. It is an air ride cab, as well as an air ride suspension. Take a look at the very nice clean frame system on the truck. Differential, everything looks really awesome. Look at the match set of 90% gripper tires on this truck. With that, I'm going to let you take a look at the rims. You can see they're very nice in the back, as well as the front. You can see we got the quarter fenders rear mud flaps and of course evidence of the very good air ride suspension and a very clean differential. Take a look, you can see the evidence of the brake pads being at that 90% in the back, just like the front axle. With that folks, I'm going to take you up and let you have a look underneath the front of our new 2011 hopper trailer. Folks, what you're seeing here is structural bracing that's second to none when it comes to maintaining the integrity of a trailer. The nose plate will never ever push up here. and It's all solid welded construction. Look at all the heavy tubing and bridging that we put into our trailers. I'm going to spin around and let you look at the landing gears. You can see around the hopper area, everything is solid welded on this custom built hopper trailer. With that, I'm going to pop back outside and I'm going to focus on the front corner of the hopper and let you see the design of it as well. What you're looking here, what looking at here, folks, is standard features with ladders front and back. You've got the crank lock, roll tarp, sealed beam light system. We've got the 12 gauge side wall panels with 14 gauge hoppers and slopes. I'm telling you, folks, it's a nice trailer that'll get the job done. All the panels are inserted butted up and solid welded and I'll focus close along the edge of the beam here you can see where all the seams come together and it's all solid welded no skip welding and no caulking equates long life take a look we have the nice clean rims in the back as well on the trailer you can see the evidence of all the new oil and everything in the rebuilt suspension you can see we have very nice 90 percent matched trailer tires 
and with that I'm going to pop underneath and let you see the rebuilt suspension completely. You can see we run all new valving, chambers, hoses, all new brake shoes. These things are rebuilt to new DOT specs. Again, take a look at the underside of this back end of the trailer. You can see the repeat of the bracing I was referring to. You can see the sealed beam light system we use. And you can see again the evidence of all the new plumbing and the rebuilding of the suspension. You can again take a look at the back side of the hopper and you can take the evidence here of a double, double gear, double track rack and pinion hopper door that works very nice and smooth. And in a moment we'll have Dave do a demonstration on that for us. With that, I'm going to come on around to the back of the trailer, and Dave's going to go ahead and open the tarp for me at this time. And I'll just kind of step back and zero in, and you can see how nice this operates and how easy it is to do from the ground. You just grab the crank. we got a stainless steel crank, stainless steel pipe, standard feature in the trailer, and you can run that sucker and lock it open as well as close. With that, I'm going to go ahead and hop up the ladder and give you a real quick view at the inside of this trailer. Okay, coming up over the back tarp cap, folks, what you're looking at is quality second to none when it comes to the tarp bow construction. You're seeing tarp bows that play a major factor in the strength of the trailer. You're looking at a truss system, not just a hoop system. And look at this nice big hole in here. I'm telling you, you're talking, it'll hold about 685 bushels of grain, one-stop dump feature, and we have about 50-degree slopes, so there's not a kernel staying in. With that, I'm going to hop back down and we'll continue around the trailer. Okay, let's come on up along the driver's side. I'm going to step back here a moment and let you focus on the back of the trailer and slowly move forward so you can get a really good impression of how nice this truck and trailer actually fit together as a package. Now, folks, we will sell it separately, no problem whatsoever, or we'll make you a package price. With that, I'm going to have Dave go ahead and give us a demonstration on the actual hopper door itself. He's going to pop the safety clip and we'll have him run it from open to close so you can see that it can be cranked without a gear reducer with one hand, no problem. And it works just like that when you're loaded. Take a look at him spinning this door, folks. Very nice, smooth, even operation. And I'm telling you, our guarantee to you is, is that when you are loaded, if you can't crank this door open without using any kind of extensions or breaker bars, we will take the trailer back and give you a full refund. Our doors simply work that nice. Let's continue on up the driver's side of the trailer. You can see again, we have the high clearance hoppers. We have the two-speed 50,000 pound landing gears. We have the aluminum bumper along the top of the trailer where the truck comes over so you don't have to worry about knocking the paint off the ribs. With that, it brings us around to the front. You can see again the very nice view of the front ladder going from top to bottom. And that brings us back to the truck. So let's switch over in the video and talking about the truck. You can see we have a repeat of what we had on the passenger side. Take a look at this passenger on the driver's side as well. Evidence of a very nice clean frame, no rust, aluminum battery box. Again, very clean steel fuel tank, very clean back of the cab area. And coming up along the driver's door, you can see it is spotless and there's no evidence of any kind of body damage whatsoever. With that, Dave's going to pop the door open and I'll get you a nice video of the inside of the truck. Okay, coming up into the driver's door, you can see we have very nice door panel. All the stuff is intact. The knobs are all working. Cranks are all working. I'm going to remove the uh, floor cleaner here. and You can see we have no problem with the floor mat area. It shines and is clean like new. It stacks right up with the 100,000 mile truck that this sucker is. You can actually see on the uh, video here, it's got the uh, 2001 build date and it's right on the door post. With that, I'm going to hop up in and get you a nice look at the driver's seat. We got a shadow on the seat. You're not seeing stains in the video. It's actually a shadow. We got a full passenger bench seat. Very nice clean interior on the door panel on the passenger side. And folks, look out these double back windows. I'm telling you, you can turn this sucker either way and see back past the trailer without turning your head all the way around because the glass goes from outside post to outside post. 
With that, I'm going to pop down here in the driver's seat, get you a very, very nice focused view across the top of the dash. You can see it's in very clean, like new condition. Coming across the gauge area, you can see it's all intact, no glass breakage in the gauges. None of the knobs and switches are missing or broken on the heat and AC controls. And again, on this 10-speed transmission, you can see we have very nice, the knobs all intact, the shifter works great, no problem whatsoever. With that, I'm going to come back to the dash, and I'm going to focus on the oil pressure gauge. I'm going to turn the key, let the gauges do their thing, and I'm going to fire the truck up, and I'm going to let you see the oil pressure in this truck for yourself. It'll take just a moment till they power up, they will do their sweep, and then it'll settle back at its operating pressure. Okay, folks, here we are sitting here at about uh, 700 RPMs. Oil pressure hot is sitting at about 40 pounds. I'm going to bring a little throttle into it. I'll back off so you can see the actual tack. And when I bring this truck up to about 15, 1600 RPMs, I'm hoovering up there at about 60 pounds of engine oil pressure. I'm telling you, she purrs like a kitten. Very, very smooth. No vibration, no shaking whatsoever. Let's focus in on the odometer here. You can see it is digital. And you can see it reads 194,579.8. 194,000 mile trucks, folks. Where are you going to find it? All right, let's take a look at the actual headliner in this truck. I'm telling you, folks, not a whole rip or tear. It is in very nice condition. We've got an AM FM tape player. The rest of the features on the dash include suspension dump. We can actually dump it. You can uh, lower the airbags with that switch. You have the trailer release, the truck release, and we have the trailer handbrake. And we do have heated mirrors. We got cruise and the cruise speed set. And with that, folks, I'm going to go ahead and jump out of the truck. I'm going to have Dave close the door for me. And I'm going to work my way on around to the front of the truck and give you a view looking down the driver's side of the truck connected with the trailer. And folks, I'm telling you, if you take a moment and pause the video here and just see what you're getting for the money for the package, it's an unbelievable deal. It's winter time and it's deal time. So give us a call and we will make you a deal. Let's wrap up the video by focusing on the front of the truck. I'm going to walk up close and let you see we have a nice straight bumper and hood area and we have the two heavy tow hooks mounted factory in the front of the bumper. With that, just move on up in the video and look how nice all the body line matches up. We've got the dual stainless horns, dual stainless mirrors. Everything is intact and working properly. Folks, with that, I'm going to wrap up the video by telling you thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to watch this video, and we would appreciate your business. Just give us a call if we can help you in any way.